My last birthday had been accompanied by fears that my sex drive had screeched to a premature halt. I feared that I was continuing to lose estrogen at an alarming rate as a result of my ongoing plunge into menopause. Frankly, I was freaking out, fearing that my healthy, normal by Kinsey standards sex drive would soon become a distant memory. I tried to look on the bright side. I mean, maybe I would take up a new hobby, like golf, <laughs> or gardening, or have more time and energy to focus on better housekeeping. I had considered taking synthetic hormones, although not seriously. I was afraid that the hazards might outweigh the benefits, and I'd rather take up knitting than contract cancer. Too bad I couldn't afford a new red sports car. You know, I almost felt old and washed up. Okay, make that old and dried up. I mean, the saddest thing about my situation was that I hadn't had sex with that many people over the years, at least not by San Francisco standards. <laughs> also, I mean, I'd never even been married and had only been in a few long-term relationships. I mean, if I had my life to do over again, I thought to myself, perhaps I would have said yes more often when presented with sexual opportunities. I mean, I could have said yes to the sailing instructor who propositioned me at Club Med in the Greek Isles 20 years ago. He was tall, dark, and handsome. Why was I so puritanical? So what if it was just a one night stand? It could have been a night to remember. And I'll never forget the sexy, slender, dark-skinned brother who caught my eye back in the day when he was delivering government cheese. You know, I was the director of a countywide emergency food coalition, but more importantly to the driver, I was sporting a new hairdo. And the trucker's wink let me know that he wanted to do more than just dive into my waves. I live in LA, but tonight I'll be staying at my sister's place in Oakland, the driver drooled. Call me and we can hook up. I wasn't that kind of girl. I couldn't just let some strange man that I'd never seen before and would probably never see again come into my apartment, my bedroom, and do the do. Although we could go to a motel, I told myself. But that just seemed so sleazy. After all, the 70s were over. Shouldn't I have to at least be wined and dined first? But I felt my love coming down. My panties were seriously in a wad. Yet, I somehow mustered the strength to back away from the scrap of paper containing a phone number being thrust toward me. You probably have a wife and three kids, I mumbled. The driver shook his head but didn't speak. He wasn't going to twist his mouth and lie. He knew he had a woman down in L.A. He knew he had kids. I signed for the cheese and walked away. What was, and what was I thinking when I ye almost yelled, no, 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 at the pretty woman with a bottle of wine who wandered into my private hot tub at Frogs in Marin County and asked me if I wanted to party. I mean, she was one of the beautiful people. Why did I tell her that she was in the wrong hot tub? Why didn't I let her get butt naked with me? I mean, we could have had fun together. I was a woman who looked both ways. But that was about 10 years ago, when I was still almost relatively young. <sighs> Opportunities like those didn't present themselves forever. I wondered if my ship had sailed. Was it a minute before midnight? Had the last train left the station? Alan, a gay male friend of mine, recently insisted that I couldn't afford not to be bisexual at this age. <laughs> Otherwise, you can miss out on too many opportunities, he warned. <laughs> the brother had a point. I mean, the opportunities I passed up over the years were too numerous and painful to recount. Thank goodness I could savor some unforgettable nights and 
a few hot relationships. And some of my lovers were damn good, as the late Barry White used to croon. I'd been too hard on myself. I mean, I hadn't exactly been approved. I mean, it wasn't like you could count the men and the women on one hand. Thank you. <laughs>